carbs, friend or foe, that's always a big debate. If I take 50 grams of table sugar, just powdered sugar, and shove it in my mouth and choke it down, I'm gonna get an insulin response with a very high spike, okay? Insulin is a storage hormone. It is the hormone that drives nutrients into the cell, makes it very anabolic. However, because it's a storage hormone, if I get too much too fast, and my cell can only take on, take on so much, think about, think about it being like trying to take a drink from a fire hose, right? You're gonna, a lot of it's not gonna get, 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 get uh, taken in your mouth. So if I get too much too fast, that storage component of the hormone means that I'm gonna retain fat. Now on the flip side, if I, instead of 50 uh, grams of carbohydrate from sugar, if I get the, the same 50 grams of carbohydrate from oatmeal, sweet potato, quinoa, then it's a much more moderate, long-term introduction of insulin to my cells. So my cells have a lot more time to take in the nutrients, and that's a very anabolic muscle building effect. Okay, so <clears throat> let me catch up with where I'm at here. Um, so complex carbs and fibrous carbs. So fibrous would be like your oatmeal, uh, a lot of your dark green vegetables, leafy vegetables, things of that nature. Um, things with high fiber are gonna help slow that insulin response and make your, your carbohydrate much more anabolic for you. So um, we can see that they are both friend and foe all, all at the same time, just depends on which carb you, uh, you, choose, you choose to utilize. Uh, next slide, please. Coach, would you consider white rice a good carb? For our purposes of performance, yes. Okay, so the question was, would I consider white rice a good carb? Um, it is a little bit higher on the glycemic index than uh, wild rice or brown rice, however, which means more insulin response. However, for our purposes, yes. The, the answer would be, um, and this is gonna be on a later slide, uh, dosage, you know, are we eating uh, four to six ounces of white rice, but, you know, based on how big we are, or are we eating, you know, a pound of it, which is obviously extreme, but you get what I'm saying. Um, next slide, please. So your thyroid, basically uh, it is the metabolic engine. So it's a gland that it controls um, blood glucose management, things like that. Um, low carbohydrate diets basically slow down that engine. All right, They slow down how fast you're, you're able to uh, not only burn calories, but utilize them for, for rebuilding and energy processes. Uh, slide please. They also, um, when the thyroid function becomes in, uh, inhibited a little bit, cortisol, which is the catabolic hormone, meaning breakdown hormone. <coughs> All right, this is the one that we, it, it's part of your natural cycle, but we kind of want to minimize it uh, at certain times so that we, we uh, avoid breakdown when we're trying to build. Um, but cortisol increases when carbs are too low or calories in general are too low, thus reducing uh, thyroid function. Next, next slide, please. Testosterone decreases. I think we all know uh, the, the decrements there. Uh, slide, you can probably hit two. Thanks. Um, so when you're, when you're um, looking at your maintenance calories, and if they are at 15, 14, 15, 16, then we're probably in that right zone. If they're too low, if it's 11, 12, then we probably need to check what's going on in terms of total uh, calorie content and then macronutrients, so carbs, carbs, protein, fats within that to help reset that, that engine and get it up and firing again. Sometimes uh, with a bigger guy, we might find that they're, they're still maintaining weight or even uh, gaining weight on 12, 13 calories per, per pound. And we'll actually kickstart them up to fire up that thyroid function and then we'll start pulling them back down. But if we pull them back down when they're already at such a low level in the first place, we're just feeding the problem that's, that's hindering the engine. Is, is everybody uh, good with me on that? Any questions on that? I know it's kind of a weird process. So you get yes, to cover sir. like low carb diets in a later slide, like yeah, okay. like how we how we would do it effectively. Yeah, I'm gonna go over that. Um, thyroid manages blood glucose, stress metabolism. Next, please. Uh, oh, these findings. Are, you hit it again. These findings are all done on trained subjects. Talked about it a little bit last week. Oftentimes, people uh, either manipulate the subjects or or. Uh, manipulate the interpretation of different researches. So often low carb advocates utilize obese, untrained, or people that have some kind of blood glucose uh, management issue. And for our purposes, that's not anybody in this room. 